It was uh it was simply put mind blowing. Mind blowing to the borrowers or the investors, and then mind blowing to uh, my lenders. guys today we got miguel my buddy the real estate connector on this is james wells coming to you and we're gonna dive deep into some of the back alleys of real estate investing and we're gonna teach y'all today how it really gets done how the deals are brought and and to uh the people with the money and how the people with the money find the guys who are the contractors and the contractors find the real estate investors and everybody gets together. That magic happens with a guy in the middle of it all, whose name is Miguel. He is a real estate connector. So introduce yourself, brother. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Miguel Bessarel, or like I told James, Miguel be real if you can't pronounce it because that R always gets everybody. Um, yeah, I am a real estate connector. Um, and what that essentially means is when I meet you, first thing I'm going to say, what do you need? How can I help you? And from there, that allows me to see the puzzle piece that you're missing. And it allows me to bring or search into what I call my mind Rolodex and see, okay, who can I fit into that puzzle piece? So if you need capital, okay, I go back into my capital uh, people by going to connect or uh, to uh, to homes. You need homes. All right, let me go get you, find you a home. I could bird dog it. You need a TC. I got a good TC. You got an underwriter. I got a good underwriter. So any really thing that you need real estate related and even not real estate related, uh, if you have, you know, some, some uh, barriers that you got to get over, I do that too. I talk it over. I see what you're doing, how you're doing. How I can help you, where I can see the gaps and get you over that hurdle. That's that's essentially what I love to do in real estate is help people out, get them to their final destination, get them over that hurdle and uh, let them win, create that win win situation. That is that is my goal as the real estate connector. And this is so this is so cool to me that in the real estate industry, you literally can make a living just putting people together is is that true yes or no absolutely absolutely i do that i mean just this month alone i made exactly actually a little bit more than what i would have made being an engineer for tesla what yeah wait a, was <laughs> you an engineer for tesla yeah listen to this dude yeah i was a process engineer for tesla mechanical engineer for tesla for seven years um Started from the very bottom, got to the top where I needed to be. And uh, Tesla was like, it's time for you to go. We got to do some cuts. I'm like, by all means, thank you. Thank you for every journey that you've put me through. Uh, it actually led me a lot of what I learned in Tesla. Um, I'm applying it. And that's where I'm at, where the connecting space, applying it to real estate. So I did a lot of process, figuring out how to get to A, B, C, D, E, and then all the way to Z. And that is just how my brain works because of my years in Tesla. Man, that is awesome. That's a cool journey. And so I just want, I want to say it again so people can underline this in their consciousness. The real estate industry is so amazing, so big, so vast, so broad. You literally just can put people together and make a living more money than a process engineer at Tesla makes freaking awesome. So I got to ask you, this is super interesting. The, the connectors that I know, and I've got a handful in my little Rolodex in my brain and all of them amaze me because I, how did you learn that this was a skill that you had, number one? Number two, that you actually could get paid to do this. How did you learn those two things first? So first of all, 
you know, when you get into a community like step two, they want you to do the, the, the basic, right? So you go in wholesale, 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 wholesale. At that time, I was still working at Tesla. I was, I had to do a journey because I had to commute. So I had to get up at three to get there at five. And then from five to one or two, I get out. And I tried to, to do the wholesaling thing. And I was like, you know what? This this isn't for me. I can't make the calls. I don't have time for it. And one day I go to Aspire, the Aspire event, and I meet the community. I see probably yeah, 20 people. I get to meet Chino Monte. He was out there. And um, and I just started talking to people. I just started to tell them what I was doing, what I did. Uh, and it just people were just be like, oh, yeah, I got 50,000 here. I got 70,000 here. Oh, I got 20,000 here to do this and this and this. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm loving what I'm doing just in this space at the moment. I was like, you know what? I think I'm, I'm I think I'm, I might be good at this. And so I transitioned, I pivoted. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go and go and try to do this, this connector rule, right? Find the capital, bring it to whoever's needing it, whoever needs it. And then we move forward. But I was like, wait, how am I going to get paid? And so that brought me back to the whole thing, connecting with people. So I started reaching out to those who were already doing it. They were already connecting. And I had some time with them. And I started chatting with them. They're like, oh, you do it you know, this, this way, this way, this way. People, there's many ways to do it. You can be in the deal with money. You can be as an admin. You can be, um, you could pay for the TC. There's many ways to do it, to go about it, right? Not without breaking any laws. And uh, so I was like, all right, got the concept, got the capital. Let me put them together. Let me create something. So from there, I started doing a little bit of digging. I, I Pace's content is, is addicting. So I just started going and going and going and going. And I was like, all right, got the content. Now I need the people. And then from there, we started growing and growing and growing, making a name for myself, putting myself out there on the Zooms, uh, talking to Pace. Actually... First time, first time I talked to Pays, I was talking about a note. I had no idea what the heck a note was. I was like, what is this? He started grilling me on it. And man, I was sweating bullets. I was so nervous. I was like, Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. And he, to him, obviously, he's done it so many times. He's like, oh, it's basic knowledge. But that's essentially how you do it. You find people, you find someone's need, and you put yourself in the middle, and you make it work. Yeah. And so let's break it down a little bit. So typically, what does your typical deal look like? So let me give you an example. We have someone that comes to us as a request, right? Or a borrower. They're like, hey, I need I need 50,000 bucks. Okay, cool. Let me go find in my Rolodex of people that have a criteria. 50,000 for X amount of time frame for the X amount of percentage they want back. I was like, all right, got it. Hey, you, all right, you're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, charge you this much. We're gonna do this much. Hey, you, you're gonna pay us this much. All right, let's mar marry them together. And from there, like I said, whether it be through administration or through um, actually putting money in as well as a, as a lender, um, you can, you stay in the deal have communication constantly and from there you just let that let that sucker roll and wait till the payday comes yeah so let me summarize that through my experience because we worked with you so we had a deal that we needed some money on and we 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 did zooms and we talked about the deal and we talked about how much money we needed and you went out and you found us several investors who were private money lenders that's their role and they wanted to lend on the kinds of deals that we had for the kinds of terms that we were looking for and so we actually got to choose out of two or three or four different investors for different deals that we've talked to you about we got to choose the investor we wanted to work with and it's really a the private money lender and we paid you a fee for bringing that private money lender to us, we paid you a fee. 
how often is that the way you make money? I mean, essentially, if we look at that specific role, it's yeah. pretty often. Because again, at that point, we just find that capital um, and we make the arrangement with the borrower. Um, a lot of people don't have the opportunity or do what you do, James. So you you come in with that high amount of experience. You're like, okay, here, here you go. Let me just, just straight pay you. Normally, that would go, it's we put on the tab of the lender and then from, from there it goes to close and then the money gets distributed how it should be. Oh, so that's the, normally how you do it. So the lender is paying them, the lender is paying for you, for you, but then the borrower owes that money back to the lender. Okay. Correct. That's great. That's what I want people to learn how these deals are put together. Cause this behind the scenes stuff we're doing, we've been doing a lot more podcasts about behind the scenes stuff. And it's like, this is the stuff people want to understand, want to hear. Yeah. How do y'all do these things y'all are doing? Cause everybody who I talked to, and we did a meeting this morning with another real estate investor in my community, but he's not in sub two and he's not in some of the, the, the bigger uh, national um, coaching programs, mentorships. He's just a, a local investor, but he loves, does a lot of deals. And I talked to him this morning. He's like, man, your stuff is everywhere. Every time I turn on, I see you, James. You just look like you're blowing the world up with your stuff. And he's like, I don't understand like how y'all put all these deals together. So I, and this guy is legit. Yeah. And even he is like, how does all this work? You know what I mean? And, and so, because he just does the traditional way. He goes to the bank and he borrows money from the bank. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's how yeah. he does deals. And so, but, but there's, there's other ways. There's so many more ways yeah. to do real estate. Um, so you make a living doing this. You typically are getting paid. And you find a way to put a fee in there. And everybody knows that, that we come to you expecting to pay you. Yep. And if people <laughs> and if people come to you and don't expect to pay you, shame on them. And so how can people find the great wizard behind the curtain here? <laughs> how can people get in touch with you, brother? Um, so I have all social media. One of the big things that, you know, pays pushes um, and a lot of people push it's it's you have to be on social media. So I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, a uh, little bit of Twitter. Um, you know, I kind of I don't, I'm not in the TikTok space yet. <laughs> I don't know if you're in there, James. Man, why are you not on Truth Social? What's the matter with you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Listen, what about uh? What's the best way for people to reach you? Is it email or is it uh, a DM or something? Um, the simplest way is is a DM. Just shoot me a DM on Instagram um, at Miguel uh, underscore a underscore uh, my last name Bessarel. Just find me on Instagram. Say, shoot me a, say a one message. More time. Say it one more time. Real plain. Say your at name. Miguel underscore a underscore Bessarel. Spell that last name. D -E, e C E R R I L. All right, got it. We got it. So everybody now is going to be able to reach out to you, and um, hopefully your business will continue to grow. You've been a blessing to us on on several occasions, and will be more because when there's deals now, we're the the we already had private money lenders when we met you so my process right now is a deal comes and first we go to our private money lenders that we already had and if they're either too tied up or it's not going to work then we say all right well miguel's going to get it miguel's going to find somebody and we have a lot of faith in that in the course of this relationship developing um we we may be invented an interesting way to pay back money. So, so let's talk about why that happened. First of all, let's build a framework. When private money lenders are lending, let's talk about the newbie private money lenders. First of all, mm -hmm. newbie private money lenders are typically lending 
what money are they are they borrowing the money are they getting business credit for the money are they are they lending out of their savings account how are they lending typically it's their 401k or their savings something that they're you know building up i actually have a buddy right now that i was talking to yesterday i know he has at least anywhere between 20 to 30 grand saved up because he wanted to buy a house right. we're like dude, the house is just they're just too in california i'm in california uh unfortunately <laughs> um is this too high and it just doesn't make sense you know the the properties that right now he's renting out he's paying a, a super low price i'm like it just doesn't make sense for you to go and buy a house right right and um so i know he's sitting on that much money but there's there's section of people that have that much and there's section of people that because of their work they have that 401k they can pull out and just start running it through. Did I just hear you say you can start lending in real estate with 20 or $30,000? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's plenty of deals. James has a plethora of them. Of them. So. <laughs> so that's, so that's what people don't understand. I mean, I, I went yesterday, I met with a dude yesterday evening and uh, he's like, I've been wanting to get in real estate my whole life. He's like 60 years old. I'm like, what what's why you're not in real estate man he's like man you you need so much money to do real estate investing i'm like no nah, man no you don't need any money you need literally zero money uh so but if you want to be a private money lender you need a little bit of money but it's so much less than what people think people think you have to be a millionaire dude all right, no, so let's not lose not. my train of thought. So you got twenty or thirty thousand dollars that you saved up, right? Yeah. Are you looking to put that money in a some kind of a high risk deal, typically? You know what? No, no. Uh, you want to get something that's secure, and then that's that's one of the things that I pride myself in. Um, we do a three tier system of underwriters. Um, so if deal comes in, we take a look at it. We have initial first glance, a napkin underwrite. We're like, all right, cool. It's a good deal. Let me ship it to my underwriters. They'll take a look at it. One passes, goes to the next, goes to the final one. And they're like, yeah, it's a good deal. Um, in that range, let's make sure they're safe. Boom. Then we bring it to that person. All right, it, gosh, $30,000 for, for me, that's like, I take it personal. I remember back in the day when that was that was really difficult to get to. And I'm not going to, you know, forsake that work that that person has done. So we definitely always try to put them in the most secure deals. And so somebody's got somebody's got 20 grand. They want to lend it. And, and this is what I'm leading up to. They're going to want to be in a really safe deal. And they're not going to want to lend for a long amount of time. Mm -hmm. Because this is the all the money they got, usually. Or yeah. they might have a little bit more, but they got they're like really scared to let go of their nest egg. <laughs> and and so they're nervous. And so because of that, they're typically only wanting to lend this money for a few months mm. at most. Uh I would say anywhere from 30 days to six months is really a new lender is not wanting to lend their money longer than that. And so part of that is because traditionally borrowing private money, the investor myself, when I borrow your money, traditionally I'm only paying you interest every month and I'm going to owe you your whole $30,000 back at the end of the term. And that's going to make you bite your fingernails, right? <laughs> Yeah, if I'm paying you, uh, let's say anywhere from twelve to fifteen percent interest, okay, on your thirty thousand dollars, right? That's somewhere to between two fifty and three hundred fifty dollars a month. Mm -hmm. So you're getting you're getting a couple hundred bucks a month, but you just gave me everything you ever worked for your whole life. So you're 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 nervous. So. We came up with a way to help alleviate that, and we call it the waterfall repayment method. 
And we shared that with you. We've done several deals uh, with it now. And investors seem to love it, meaning private money lenders seem to love it. So um, we sh we shared it with you and then you went and shared it with some other people. So so tell us a little bit about the feedback that you got when you first started talking to people about it. And then we're going to do a deal breakdown. Yeah, yeah it was uh, it was. Simply put, mind blowing, mind blowing to the borrowers or the investors, and then mind blowing to uh, my lenders. Um, I have one guy, Joe. He keeps asking, "When is when? When can I have another opportunity at it? Give me another opportunity." He's ready to go to give you that fifty grand. grand. So whenever you're you got something in that range, you you let me know. I'm gonna call him up. He'll be happy to to send it over. Uh, but with well, initially i went to a, an event clever summit we we started talking to borrowers and and we we're telling them about you know this situation the waterfall method and at first it, their their mind wasn't able to grasp it they're like wait what do you what do you mean like there's so many things popped in their head you know the hurdles that you have in your mind that you can't get over and so i started breaking it down for the example of of, of the deal that we did right um you're gonna pay 12 percent interest uh each month and then you're gonna you know pay a principal amount and so when we started talking to them getting a little bit more in detail of it they're just it, it was as they say nowadays chef's kiss it was so good dude to me and the thing is you told me this the other day and i was like i was blown away that people are blown away because it's a no-brainer to me. It's like, all right, lenders want some of their principal back. So how can we do that? We don't want to, we don't want to necessarily, first of all, we have to find a deal that can can pay them back, right? Yeah. And um, and we don't necessarily want to be just pouring our principal out every month. We don't we don't want to be emptying our our pockets every month because we need that money as investors. So I thought quarterly payments seem to make sense to me. Quarterly principal payments. And then reasonably, where where there still may be a balloon on the end, depending on how much you borrowed. But the investor, the lender, the lender is at least getting a large portion of their principal back and because they're getting that principal back and we keep the interest payments the same throughout the length of the term they are making super high interest by the time you get to the end it's a win-win yep so let's let's give an example for youtube and for the um, audio podcast i'll do my best at explaining this um by speaking through it so i'm pulling up a spreadsheet this is a live deal that we are in the middle of this investor this is a private money lender this is his first time he ever lent private money and why did he lend it because of the waterfall repayment method okay this is a Airbnb, you can look it up. It's 623 Starring Lane in Baton Rouge with one R. 623 Starring Lane in Baton Rouge. This is our Airbnb that um, this lender put $35,000 into, okay? Which allowed us to rehab the building and completely furnish it with some really nice furniture and make it amazing. This Airbnb is netting us monthly net cash between $2,000 and $2,500 a month, okay, net. So I want people to understand you have to have a deal to do the waterfall method that's going to have a high revenue capability. So it needs to be probably short-term rental or a co-living. Long-term rentals are not usually going to be able to work with this, Midterm rentals can work. And there's one other caveat. Maybe you're a high 
um, net worth performer at your W-2 job. Maybe you're a doctor, maybe you're an attorney, maybe you're an accountant, maybe you're a dentist, maybe you're a, um, an engineer. Maybe you make enough money where you could do this for a long-term rental and just pay the principal payments back out of your pocket. It's still a good way. But for most investors, that most investors are trying to be investors full time. And so the deal, the deal needs to pay back the lender. Keep your deals safe. So in our example, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see that this guy loan, loaned us $35,000. That's this number down here at the bottom. That's what he gave us. That's our principal. And we're going to pay him $350 a month for the entire term, for the entire term. But every quarter, we're going to give him a $3,200 payment that is going to go directly to return his principal to him. Okay. Now, on this particular deal, if we make $2,200 net, which is, we just kind of did an average between uh, 2000 and 2500 which has been our net, we will bring in $6,600, okay? And we will have paid our private money lender $4,250, which is three payments of 350 his interest, plus $3,200, his principal, for that first quarter. And we still will net on this deal $3,400 in that quarter. That's net, that's in our pocket, that's sushi money, that's money that we can you know, go on a vacation on, whatever. That's our money after everything else is paid, net. So if you have an Airbnb, if you can convert a property into an Airbnb or into a co-living, but you're like, I don't have the money to convert it. This is a way that you can do that. You can go to Miguel. You can tell him you want to do the waterfall method. You can tell him you want to convert into an Airbnb or a co-living property. He can help you structure it to where your property will pay back the lender. And, and even if you break even for two years, and you pay your freaking lender back after those two years, you're going to make so much more money on your asset. <laughs> so Miguel says we invented this. I'm not sure. All I know is Reagan and I came up with it brainstorming one day and we're putting it out there to the world. And so here we are, Miguel, what else do you have to say about anything Tell us all about yourself. We love you, man. It was it, this. This honestly, it's it's so simple, but it's so creative at the same time. And one of the things that that you know, I was in a group of people giving the same the same thing, giving an example, talking about it. Uh, people that are lenders, they're connectors, they're buyers, borrowers, and I was sharing with this, and they they're raising questions here and there. And I was like, man, it's it, it's beautiful when you have uh, minds that are creative to to you know combat certain issues, right? That you're dealing with. And uh, bringing this up, I felt like this this definitely allowed uh, a lot of my my friends now that uh, that they're able to use this and utilize it in their own business, um, if they're a buyer or if they're a connector or a lender. You bring it up to someone, reference this. Or give us a shoot me a DM. We'll talk about it. Shoot James a DM. We'll talk about it, and uh, we'll break it down in a simple form. I actually had a buddy. I'm gonna give you an example. Another example that we didn't talk about here um, that I met just recently. That he had a he has a home, and it's a little bit rural area. So it's I think the house is probably you know thirty thousand dollars, right? He owns it, and he was like, man, I need I need capital. I need this, this, and this. I just don't know how to structure it. And I'm like, well, I mean, how about we we try the waterfall that day? And so like, okay, well, tell me what it is. And I started to explain to him. It's like, all right, 30,000, we'll do, uh, you know, $300. Because again, you can be really creative with it, right? You can put the numbers that you want in there. 
the return on the principal that you want um, as long as the lender is okay with it. So we started plugging in numbers. We're doing uh, 500 bucks a month at, um, and then every quarter you give back like 2000 bucks, 1500 bucks. Um, and he's like, he was just mind blown and he was still netting, right? He was probably still netting, netting about, you know, $400 a month. And so he's like, yes, he's like, we got to do this. We got to do this. We got to do this. And I'm like, all right, just let me know whenever you're ready. You have the property that you're looking for. We can do this with with that type of investment where the property is the house is probably worth anywhere between 15 to 30,000. We ask around that amount and we structure it properly. If the lender's okay with it. If it's secure, let's run it. Run it, you know, however many times we want because there's plenty of properties out in the United States where it's a little rural. You get $15,000 houses, $30,000 houses that that area even though it's so low, they can't they still can't afford it, right? So he's thinking about doing somewhat of a, a wrap or something like that. And so that's where it's like, it just works. It works right. It works perfectly. Yeah, it, it worked. There are just a lot of situations where it will work. Now, on the example that I gave earlier, for those who are following along, there's a $12,600 balloon payment at the end because we structure the quarterly payments to where we know we're going to be able to make them, even if we don't get 98% occupancy or something. What if we get 65% occupancy one month? We still want to be able to make our payments. So, and you're like, oh, well, that throws the whole thing away, right? No, it doesn't. Why? Because how many people have $12,600 laying around who may want to come invest in this deal later and I will be able to pay this lender off all of his money, right? And that's when mm -hmm. I'll be able to bring in someone else at maybe $12,000, you know, and then we'll just be able to pay them simple interest. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yep. And so, and so at that point, our, our net is going to go way through the roof, right? And now I'm also bringing another lender in the game and letting them cut their teeth on a deal. Mm -hmm. It's just a win, 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 win. Another way to exit the deal is that this is a 36 month term In 36 months, the property is going to be worth a hell of a lot more. All right. Our principal is going to be paid down on our underlying debt. Right. So we may even be able to do a cash out refi. There's so many ways to 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 get that balloon payment paid at the end that like yes you need to have a strategy for it mm -hmm. and you, your property needs to be a good deal and you you need to have a property that's going to appreciate in value but don't think oh well i'm gonna have to pull this twelve thousand six hundred dollars out of my pocket no no you're not no you're not you're going to be able to continue to grow your network by going to your community and sharing with them hey guys I got this balloon coming up and all I need is $12,600. Who wants to be my new lender? Right. And you're building, you're just building more relationships. You're growing your network. You're doing more business. Everybody's winning. That's the name of this game. That's the beauty of it. You know what that you did. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about, well, yeah, the, the, the principle now is so much lower. Let me bring someone in. That's not that doesn't have that big of a capital to to sink their teeth into because it's a lot smaller. And again, it, it's it's the little things that a lot of people will bypass and not think about. And they'll just go straight to like, oh man, I gotta refinance or I gotta do this and this and this, uh, or take it out of my own pocket. No, we said go find a I'm, new one. The the guy and, yesterday that I was talking to, I I, I was like, dude, it, do do how much do you want to invest right now? He's like, I don't know. I got $10,000. See, I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like when you, when you think about this is like, you get to some set up some balloons where they end up falling between like 10 to $15,000. That money is going to be so easy to find. Don't so stress good. out about that. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's All so right. good. So this has been fantastic. Um, And keep in mind, Miguel is able to connect you with deals. He's able to connect you with uh, flip houses, rental properties, 
uh, apartment complexes, uh, mobile home parks, and with money to do your deals. This guy has got a tremendous network. He is a professional networker. So one more time, tell us one more alternate way to get in touch with you. Uh, yeah, it's again, DM on Instagram. I'm going to say it again, at Miguel underscore A underscore Becerril. It's B as in boy, E-C-E-R-R-I-L. Or um, find me on Facebook. Just search out my name, Miguel Becerril. You'll see me. You'll see this face doing a peace sign. Um, just shoot me a message. I mean, I'm always wanting to help. Again, that is that is what I'm here for is to serve. Uh, in all reality, I want to help everyone I can. If there's an outlet I can guide you to, then I'll guide you to the outlet. Um, if it's you want to, you have capital, by all means, I would love to talk to you. Find out what your criteria is, how I can help you, where we can structure, who we can have uh, you lend to, and then we can go from there. Again, if you're a borrower like James, shoot me a message. Hey, I need X, Y, Z by this time, and let's move forward. Right. All right. Well, with that, you guys keep reaching for the secret sauce. Pour it all over these deals. Pour it all over your heart, your mind. Be creative. That's what we're here to do. We're teaching and we are here to do business with you as well. Uh, I think everybody can find me. I'm pretty easy to find, but I'm all over Facebook. You can um, look in our podcast show notes. Find me there. You can email me. There's just a million ways to get in touch with me. So easy. You can find it. Um, so we're going to have it. Um, we're going to have, I was going to say we we're going to have Reagan tell us bye, but Reagan's glitching out on us. So we're going to say bye. Bye-bye. 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 Adios.